were inmates inside of all the cells that were locked because he could hear the beds squeaking inside of those cells. He could hear prisoners saying things like, No please stop, I don't want to do this. He could also hear other prisoners saying things like, Shut up woman and just do it. Take it. Take it woman. He then walked up the wing and could hear other inmates in their cells screaming for their life. While still not 100% sure what was going on Charlie walked up to the cell door that was locked and opened the door flap to see what was going on. He was now lost for words because he couldn't unsee what he had just seen. He could now see a white inmate in the cell bent over with a blonde wig on his head while getting his cheeks clapped out by a big muscular black guy. Charlie was now traumatized by what he just saw in that cell so he quickly closed the cell door flap and ran off. He thought to himself I'm lucky that big black guy didn't see me looking at him. Charlie really wanted to help the inmate in that cell because he could tell he didn't want to do it so he ran to the prison officer's office while shouting emergency. I need you two to come with me right now because an inmate needs your help. The two prison officers didn't even move a muscle as they sat on their chairs with their feet on the table while watching movies on their phones and eating popcorn. Charlie shouted again saying please come with me right away officers and I will show you the cell. An inmate is inside of that cell bent over while another inmate is blowing his back out. I could see the inmate had tears falling down his face and didn't want to do it. I could see he was in real pain. The two prison officers both just looked at each other and then started laughing while saying, Don't you know what happens in prison? You really are a newbie aren't you? That's okay because you have 36 more years to familiarize yourself with the prison ecosystem. Charlie then said to the prison officers, Are you not going to help the men in trouble? The officers then replied saying first of all women you better take that bass out of your voice and watch who you are talking to before we lock this prison office door. We'll then pin you down on that table over there and push our things inside of you. We will take it in turns to turn you out and we will do it all night long. Second of all, since you want to be a superhero and help the inmate who is in the